Hi everybody, I'm here to talk about boring decodable stories. Oh my goodness. All right, so kids who struggle with reading need intensive, explicit instruction. I got no makeup on, I'm sweating, but I'm just gonna own it and poof my hair a little bit. Okay, Orton Gillingham approach. Anything where kids are learning the codes of language in a systematic, explicit way is what they need, okay? Sometimes that can be boring. And sometimes they need to have lots and lots of repetition before it clicks for them. Um, and when you're introducing codes and rules of the English language, you have to do it in a fun way or they get disengaged and they don't want to do it. So this brings me to just my rant for today, okay? Maybe I'm nerding out a bit here, but we learned the Eind, Old, Ost, Eild phonogram today, okay? We're practicing these words that have the long I and long O endings. Anyway, that's not the important part. We read a decodable story that I have purchased on, you know, a stack of OG Orton Gillingham resources that I have. And many times I read these stories and I'm like, who wants to read this? It's so boring. So with my little tutoring group today, we rewrote the Eild Old Ost Eind story, which is the wild, old, kind man was handing the child a mild burrito. The burrito was kind of the most grossest, oldest burrito ever. Even though the old man was kind, he should have paid more mind when he hosted a burrito lunch. I told him, yo, this burrito tastes like an old moldy sock you would find in a child's diaper you know it doesn't have to be crazy so i just want to say no boring decodable stuff for kids make it fun if you can't find anything fun make it your own using these rules that is my summer tip from riverbend reba engage them make it stick they will love you for it bye